And here's Dave. Hey guys, Dave here with Funky Food with Dave, Paula. That's me. Jake's outside. Uh, probably going to get eaten by a friggin' bear. Yeah, we just had the bear go through the dooryard probably about a half hour ago or so. As usual, we haven't seen him much this year, but he's definitely, they're definitely out here. Oh, Jake just and ran in. Jake, he's probably he's having heart failure. In, so, yeah, he Sorry, buddy. Did you see the smelly boy? <laughs> Um, not much going on today. I had to go get peppers today for a new hot sauce that we're going to be making. They're over there, they're here. So tomorrow yeah, my is, kitchen, tomorrow dining room, cutting up and lovely. cooking day. So I'm actually looking forward to this sauce. It's going to be a, our take on a type of table sauce. Oh. So looking forward to it. I, I think it's going to come out pretty good. Um, beautiful day today here. Oh my God, it's Guess like what? fallish. Guess what? What, honey? It didn't rain today. Oh, that's great. We have had the rainiest summer that I can remember in a long, long, long time. So, um, oh, also Scott Michael, I think I saw his thing today. He's at 496 subscribers. Oh, he come on, people. That 500, I'm going to send out yeah. a treat. Yeah, uh, Scott said he will tell us who the 500 subscriber is. We'll get an address, and we will send them uh, one of our hot sauces. Come on, people. Get your uh, people, your people's people. I'm send him probably our hot hot. Oh, really? Um, probably the Warlocks. Yeah, but maybe those people... Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Well... So, all right. So today is uh, usually a Funky Food Friday, but today is a Taste Test Friday. Uh, we are going to do Sophia Hot Chili Oil. Yeah, I'm not... Um, very simple ingredients. Soybean oil, soybean oil, and chili extracts. You can't ask for a much simpler ingredient list than that I've never really had much on the different um, hot oils I'm actually interested in trying these and I'm going to be getting a few more of these um, this is a product of Taiwan imported by Sophia Foods out of Brooklyn New York you can look them up at www.sophiafoods.com um, I know they're used for stir fries uh, Asian food I actually have a couple things it, depending on how this tastes I'm going to use it for a couple meat dishes I have a idea with some Pork tenderloin in this. So, here we go. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification ding, bell. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, leave your comments. Uh, we are back. You know, we, we, Paula was figuring out our event schedule coming up from the end of August through to November. We have a lot of events. Actually, yeah. And then we want to do our own event, which we will announce. Yeah. Yeah, um, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at, and this is out, so anybody that's out there in Vermont. Or around. Or, you know, eastern, I mean, western New Hampshire, eastern New York. If you're into making hot sauce, you have a, a business. Salsa. Salsa. We barbecue. are going to be doing a. a uh, an event. And a hot sauce style event here in Lovell. It's going to start out small, and we're going to try to go from there. So if you're listening and you have a sauce company here, and they, um, give us a comment and we'll get a hold of you so here we go or if you just want to come and yeah. be part of it oh, yeah. because we're going to have um it's going to be a fun day right. fun filled day i will have uh food vendors there um because we have a lot of people that we have contacts with and it's pretty awesome so You know what that would be good is it's probably made for is stir fry. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, I'm so weird. I don't even get much of a smell out of it. I get a little bit of soybean smell, soybean oil smell, but I don't get much chili smell out of it. No, I get nothing. You don't get the soybean smell? Not at all. Out? It's just I get the oil smell. As you see, I mean, it's definitely an oil. Ooh, it's got a nice red tint to it. It's actually very pretty. <laughs> oh, it's oil. Oh, yeah, I get the soybean smell there. Hey, right, here we go. Definitely soybean oil.
a very, 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 very mild heat. Like a faint taste? I mean, this... <laughs> I mean, the unfortunate part is, again, like I've said in the past, I hate when they say this. It says, chili extracts. Um, it doesn't tell you what type of peppers this is. I'm thinking if it's Taiwan, it might be a Thai chili. Little bird's eyes. It's, the heat is actually building a little bit on the back of my throat. Just a little. Would you like just a no. No. Thanks. You're a great guy, but no, thank you. It's very, very, very mild. I didn't mean to do that much again. Very mild. <laughs> Flavor is soybean and chili. You can taste the chilies. <coughs> um, <coughs> product rating on this uh, one to two being no for nasty, three to four is below par, five to six is run of the mill, seven to eight is marvelous, nine to ten is outstanding. <coughs> being that I've not had very many hot chilies. Uh, chili oils. It's hard for me to give it a fair grade. Matter of fact, this is the first time I ever reviewed it. Uh, the hot oils. I would give this a six. It, if the, the soybean oil's got a good flavor, the, and the flavor of the chili is fine. This is no heat. If you recall, do you remember that guy that uh, we watch? He is a marine that survives. He makes like shelters and stuff like that. Does a lot of cooking, corporal. Cook uh, corner. Okay, if you recall, I made a popcorn one time, like he did. Use I did oils. use the chili oil, yeah, that's right. and then I added bacon to it because yeah. this guy makes a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it, I wasn't a fan of it. It was yeah. it was just not exciting. Yeah, I mean, but I, I did okay. do it. Yeah. So that's the only time I yeah. think I used it. I haven't used it for anything. You have. For that but i have an idea what this could be good this yeah. could really go good at, on a good pork tenderloin put it in the, the skillet set it in set the pork uh tenderloin in the oil in the skillet and let it oh yeah yeah i would give this a six i mean it's not horrible i who knows if i get more oils this might rating might go down on this particular product as others might go up right um it's hard for me to say but i'll give it a six Heat wise, zero being really one to two is was three to four is alrighty, then five to six is firecracker, seven to eight is being the up Scotty, nine to ten is F and A. Some people have asked what F and A stand for. Uh, use your imagination. Yeah. We have grandchildren so we couldn't <laughs> say it out use, loud. Use your imagination. <laughs> F and A. So um this is zero. This is zero. For me. Other people maybe get you to maybe a one, maybe a two, maybe. But I can see what they're going to be used for. I, I know I've been to Asian restaurants where they've had this. They've used oils in their food, heat hot oils. I'm going to get some more of these. I'm going to. I'm. I'm interested in doing more of these. I just have to write that down on my list as I got to go through my calendar and start writing down on the calendar what I'm going to do on specific days because I'm getting way behind. Um, Got anything to say, honey? No. no. I think it's going to be an early bed night tonight. Really? I have nothing to say. Yeah, well, that's pretty hard to believe. I know. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow I'm getting up early. I'm going to be making our new hot sauce. And a couple of the people out there that I have sent two sauces to before will be getting a bottle to get our reviews on it. Um, yeah, not really much else to say today. Have yourself. Oh, I know. I cry every time I see that shirt. It makes me laugh. Let's go, Brandon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's worn that in places that, and he does it purposely. There's a town in Vermont called Brattleboro, Vermont. It's about one of the most liberal places you will ever want to go. I actually wore this shirt. Yeah, there he did at, at a, a farmer's, farmer's market. market, and people were looking at me to be evil. <laughs> I, I'm loving it. Ben, 
maybe 15, 20 miles up over the mountain down into Wilmington where they have a uh, flea market. And all the people there loved it. Oh, they were high fying you. That was and awesome. Just, you don't yep. get much of a yep. difference, but Brattleboro. Oh, yeah. And he purposely yeah. did it because oh, yeah. Dave spun like that. Think of your most liberal places in your states and then come to Vermont, and that's Brattleboro, Bennington, Burlington, our state capital, Montpelier. Those places are very peculiar places. But yeah, they loved it there, my brother, bro. <laughs> and actually, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start having a, a thing for my our videos, and you're gonna see what they're gonna be as we're gonna get going. They're just gonna be funny T-shirts. So, all right, guys. Um, no, actually, one exciting thing. Probably the next video, this whole table will change, be clean because. It's that time of year. We are, like I said, we're getting very busy. And I'm like, Dave, we got to get this done so we can do this. We do we do our teamwork. I'm bossy, and he yeah, just and I listens. I got to get back on our travel map. I've got eight Did you hear what I said? Yeah, they get bossy. No, but you didn't hear the rest. No, I heard you're bossy, <laughs> and I agree with that. So, <laughs> that's all I heard. Yeah, so, okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to change this up and get back on track with our videos. I'm going to get back on our travel map. Um, get back onto the funky foods. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. You know, the summer was busy. So and then the th three weeks at the end of July were just absolutely hectic with the floods. So yeah. we, we're all out. We're all discombobulated here on what we're doing. I'm kind of sitting here going, right. where are we at? And then all of a sudden, I go to. I opened up my emails today, and I'm like, oh my god. And then I looked at my calendar. I went, oh, we're really busy. And then I forgot. Uh, so our, our table sauce tournament is going to start on on Sunday. That is a definitely uh, definite. So that our first video for the table sauce tournament will be Sunday afternoon. Um, other than that, have yourself a wonderful, we will see you wonderful tomorrow evening for a Super Saturday Soda Spectacular video, which we haven't done in a while. We'll go for a little cruise. I'll yeah, do we'll my thing in the morning. You do yours, and then we'll yeah. Tomorrow afternoon we'll hit the road. Maybe we'll even show. Hey, it's too late now to show you flood damage because everybody's got it. You know, you I'm know, proud. You know there was a flood. Yep. As bad as it was here in Vermont, especially in this area, if you didn't know, there's still a couple things, bridges that are out. But if you didn't know it, you wouldn't tell. I actually, I mean, we should do a shout out because you know who, who I'm very proud of in this town. And he's such a nice, humble man. But um, what's uh, the manager at the town? Um, no, I mean, he's a nice Denver. boy, too. No, the guy from the road crew. Ron Tarbell. He's awesome. It was all it. Of, all of our departments did a yeah, great job. Yeah, amazing. Our town manager did a great job. The he's, community yeah, he's came kind together. of a rock star. I mean, Troy Crusoe, off yeah, of Fox Run uh, Golf Course, and all them. He did a great job. There, but you it, drive through this it, town it just, and you're it, like it, it, this. A lot of wow. Came together. So yeah, yeah and without it, know, if you did not know what happened on July 10th and 11th here, you would not know what. Well, happened. you can. The, a lot of people will see it. I mean, I've heard numerous because they'll see it on TV and they're like, "Wow!" And go, you drive through it up. now, you're like, yeah, "Oh go my God!" July 10th, Ludlow, Vermont, yeah. flooding. Yeah. And if you see it now, maybe we'll <laughs> post a picture. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So with that being said, we will see you tomorrow. Have oh. a wonderful a what? Oh, remember, <gasps> hot sauce awesome never sauce. goes hot out sauce of style. Never goes out of style, and that's actually going to start getting printed on all of our new stickers for our hot sauces because we're redoing all of our stickers. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.